20 years ago, Gateway Park was little more than an interesting idea. The revitalization of Maine South was a distant dream. The Hanover Theatre was the lonely vision of two local pioneers for the performing arts. Union Station was a decaying structure, a vibrant commercial district that centered around the rich industrial history of the Blackstone Canal was merely a curiosity. We now have commuter rail and an airport that is working again. And in the past two decades, we have protected hundreds of acres of open space for parks and recreation and aggressively promoted tourism to make central Massachusetts a destination point. As we gather here this evening, I am proud to say that all of this and much more has been accomplished. We have a lot to celebrate. It has happened because together we consciously refused to accept the status quo and steadfastly rejected the low expectations that had held our city and region back for too long. Jim was inspired to end hunger in our country when he served as an intern for Senator George McGovern. Under Senator McGovern's leadership, Congress strengthened the food stamp program, the WIC program, and the school feeding program. Later, as a congressman himself, Jim used this experience to advocate for greater involvement in feeding programs throughout the developing world in what became known as the McGovern Dole Food for Education and Nutrition Program. Since beginning in 2002, the program has supported projects in 44 countries. With the guarantee of a healthy school meal, McGovern Dole improves education and literacy for millions of the world's poorest children, especially girls. Every week before the House of Representatives, Jim speaks about a different aspect of hunger. He defends the anti-hunger programs, but more importantly, amplifies the voices of millions of Americans who rely on these programs to survive. In partnership with organizations such as the Worcester County Food Bank, St. John's Food Pantry, United Way of Central Massachusetts, and the Food Bank of Western Massachusetts, Jim has helped raise awareness and necessary funds for food banks throughout our region, in some cases walking 42 miles in just two days. We believed in this community, and we worked together against all the naysayers to make progress. We have much more to do.